let's take a look at this example here also refresh your memory about this equation flow equal to proximal airway pressure minus volume tidal volume divided by compliance and this is basically alveolar pressure divided by resistance the same equation can be rearranged that proximal airway pressure equal flow multiplied by resistance plus volume divided by compliance go back to my videos i talked about these in details but these but basically the same equation let's have this patient a we decided to put him in pressure control mode of ventilation we gave him x amount of pressure so x centimeter hto as his pressure target and y amount of seconds as inspiratory time if this patient using these settings produced or was uh, the ventilator gave him let's say uh, and say e amount cc of tidal volume and to maintain this amount of pressure the ventilator delivered z amount of flow liter per minute if we guarantee if there is no change in resistance or compliance if i switch this patient to volume control using same e as tidal volume and same z as flow rate this mode here will require the same amount of pressure x centimeter hto to maintain this target of flow rate of z flow rate and will require the same amount of time to deliver this tidal volume to deliver sorry this tidal volume so basically they are the same on the condition that resistance and compliance don't change so whether you use this or this numbers are the same just changing the mode so inspiratory time will be the same the flow rate will be the same the pressure everything will be the same and simply look at the equations here and that tells you really, really there is no difference between using volume control or patient control the main difference is if this number if the resistance here or the compliance here started to change let's take a quick example if a patient on pressure control here if the resistance goes high so the ventilator needs to keep this number constant so the flow has to go down so basically if the patient by the tube of their severe airway spasm or there's a mucus plug the flow has to come down to keep this as it is and if the compliance goes high that means the volume the alveolar pressure will goes down that means the flow that means this will decrease so the flow has to compensate and just reverse things if this increase or decrease the same thing here for volume control if resistance goes high the flow technically will go down this is not allowed by the ventilator so the proximal airway pressure will increase to compensate for that and if this is increased that means the alveolar pressure will decrease so the flow technically should increase but this is not allowed so the pressure will decrease simply just follow the mass and the equation and you'll see the main difference between these two modes on how to respond in changes in respiratory mechanics how to respond in changing and in changes in resistance and changes in compliance but if these remain the same these modes can be very similar.